Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you guys how to create a Truffle project, how to compile your smart contracts, how to deploy smart contracts to Ganache, how to write uh, deployment scripts for your projects and so much more. So before we start exploring all these topics, uh, please make sure to uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, give this video a like. Uh, let's start with the uh, first task that we have in here, creating a Truffle project. So uh, for creating a project using Truffle, we have two options. First of all, uh, we can use the Truffle init uh, command. This will uh, create a empty project, uh, only the directory structure that's required. And we can use the Truffle boxes. This way uh, we can have uh, some sample code that uh, we can use as a beginner uh, to uh, learn from that. So uh, let's uh, start with the first one with the truffle init command. Here I'm going to create a, a empty project. Uh, let's name it truffle. Uh, and let's uh, open this, this folder in the command line. Uh, so currently I'm in this directory. Let's run the truffle init command. Uh, you can see that uh, it created a few uh, folders for us and a truffle config.js file. Uh, let's open this project in VS Code and see what do we have in here. First of all, we have a contract folder uh, which have no file in it. We have a migrations folder, a test folder and a truffle config.js which we will use to configure our network, solidity version and uh, different stuffs in here. Uh, for now, uh, I assume that uh, you are uh, a beginner blockchain developer and you don't know uh, much about Solidity and all this stuff. Uh, I will use a box for simplicity uh, that will have uh, sample code and uh, all the configuration in it. Uh, because I am going to show you guys uh, only uh, how to uh, create the project, how to compile these smart contracts and how to deploy them on Ganache. So, uh, let's create another folder for boxes. Uh, let's open this folder in the command line. So in order to uh, unbox a uh, truffle box, we use the truffle, sorry, truffle unbox and the name of the box, name of the box, whatever the name is. So uh, you can Google uh, the box names. Let's find a good one. Truffle boxes. Mm, I'm going to use this one, Metakine. Uh, you can uh, study the documentation. This is really useful. Uh, and you can use uh, this command to unbox the Metakine boilerplate project. So I'm going to type it, try truffle unbox meta coin. Let's wait for it until it unboxes the project for us. And then we, uh, we can compile it. So this is downloaded. Uh, let's open this up in our Visual Studio code. And let's see what we have in here. First of all, we have a contracts folder, which have two uh, Solidity contract files, convert lib, dot sol and metacoin dot sol. For now, uh, you don't worry about this solidity code. If you don't, if you don't understand it, we will have uh, uh, a broad discussion about each of these topics in the upcoming videos. Uh, next, we have a migrations folder. In here, we have some JavaScript files that are responsible for deploying uh, our smart contracts into the blockchain. Whatever blockchain it is, in this case, uh, we will be using Ganache. Let's fire this up. We will deploy our smart contract to Ganache for now, which is a local blockchain. Uh, and next, uh, we have a test folder. In the test folder, we have a JavaScript file, JavaScript test for our smart contract. And we have a Solidity file, which is also a test file for testing our smart contract. Next, we have uh, .get attributes. Let's uh, not worry about this right now. Uh, the next important file which is uh, in the project is the truffle config.js. 
so in order to uh, connect our project with uh, to travel now uh, we have to uncomment the network section from here uh, uh, let's change the port uh, to whatever port we have in the uh, ganache so first of all let's create a workspace at the project uh, in our desktop the boxes folder and select the file let's save the workspace you can see that in here we have uh, our PC server which is connected to a 7545 uh, port so let's change the port in here it's 8545 let's make it 7545 uh, we also need to uncomment the solidity version if URA is commented and we are good to go and now we can compile our smart contracts so uh, how can we compile it let's uh, open up this project you can uh, open it in your integrated terminal in Visual Studio Code uh, if you don't have Visual Studio Code or you are using any other IDE or editor uh, you can open this project up in your terminal so let's open up the terminal the command that we are going to use for compiling our project is the truffle compile uh, for the first time uh, this will compile all your uh, smart contracts which you have in your project but the uh, other times that you are going to uh, run this command the truffle compile command this will only compile the contracts that are changed or new and were not uh, compiled uh, at the previous time so when we run the truffle compile command you can see that it created a build folder for us inside the build folder we have another folder called contracts and inside the contracts folder we have two files convertlib.json and metacoin.json these are called abstract binary interfaces or abi files uh, which we will use as a intermediary uh, that will help us call the functions and other stuff so basically what we deploy to the blockchain is the bytecode uh, if you know uh, the deployed bytecode right here uh, this is what we deploy to the blockchain but uh, we use the ABI files uh, which gives us uh, all the information about the functions and variables in our solidity file uh, this is the file that we will use to connect our uh, front end to the blockchain application or the smart contract uh, so let's uh, don't go really deep in this uh, we will leave this for another day so uh, right now we have convertlib.json and metakind.json if you come to the deploy contracts.json this is this is a file uh, which is responsible uh, for deploying our smart contract this stages the deployment uh, with the help of truffle so uh, if you want to deploy uh, this now to the blockchain to our ganache block blockchain you can see there is no transaction there is there are the two contracts convert lab and metacoin because we uh, added the truffle config js file to this workspace it automatically detected the uh, solidity files but they are not deployed yet so uh, we have a few accounts in here with 100 ether you can see that when we deploy a smart contract this is the account that will uh, pay the transaction fee for deployment of the contract and this will decrease definitely so let's run truffle migrate this will uh, deploy all the uh, smart contracts in our project so let's see so uh, when we uh, run truffle migrate the first time it will deploy all the smart contracts if uh, they are not uh, migrated or deployed to the blockchain but uh, in the uh, uh, next times that you run uh, the truffle migrate command this will only uh, deploy the uh, contracts that are not migrated already or not deployed to the blockchain if you want to reset all of them uh, you can simply run truffle migrate dash dash reset this will redeploy all the smart contracts either deployed or not deployed at the previous time so uh, let's uh, see the first thing that I told you that this will uh, spend some ether this account 
to deploy our smart contract this is the gas fee if you don't know what the gas fee is and how do we calculate the gas price uh, you can watch my other videos uh, i have a few videos about gas fee and gas price on the ethereum network next we have blocks uh, you can see that these are mined and uh, our transactions are included in these blocks next we have transactions two transactions to create a contract uh, first one is for the migration contract and the next one is uh, I, I see we, we had two contracts basically convert lab and metacoin so these are the two transactions that are, uh, have created our uh, smart contracts I basically uh, deployed our smart contracts so let's see the metacoin contract you can see that we have the balances and all this stuff in here and the other contract which is the convert lab contract uh, this is how you uh, deploy smart contracts so in the next video uh, i will show you guys how to interact with the uh, smart contracts that you deployed with the help of truffle console this way uh, you will have uh, access to the smart contracts that you deployed for example if we if you want to access the smart contract uh, which was called what was the name of it let's find it from the abi file metacoin this is the name of the contract that we deploy this is simple javascript uh, let's get the metacoin dot deployed now if we see what we have in the instance you can see uh, there are lots of uh, things in here uh, you can explore them all but uh, we will see how do we interact with these uh, different functions and variables which we have in our deployed smart contracts on the blockchain obviously uh, this is going to work the same in the actual blockchain as well because truffle is a local blockchain but uh, we will see in the upcoming videos how to deploy our smart contracts to the testnet robsten ringpy goerly testnet uh, and uh, other uh, choices that we have we will explore all of them uh, for now i guess this video is getting too long uh, i will stop the video and see you guys in the next one